The Malaysian Bar has expressed concern over what they claimed were misleading comments on former Prime Minister Najib Abdul Razak's conviction in the SRC international case. In a statement, Malaysian Bar President Karen Chia called on all parties to respect the decision of the courts. She added that one dissenting judgment in the recent review of Najib Abdul Razak's SRC international trial is no ground for a future review or retrial. Chia said misleading statements are being made suggesting the contrary, but members of the public must know that a dissenting judgment within Malaysia's legal system is merely a difference of opinion and the majority judgment will prevail. She explained that there must be finality to litigation and the legal structure must lead towards that finality. If a dissenting judgment leads to a fresh review, then there will be no end to litigation, she added. She said Najib's SRC international case has been decided by a high court, upheld by the Court of Appeal and the Federal Court, and then reviewed by a different set of Federal Court judges upon his appeal, which clearly shows that there are lawful grounds to convict Najib in the SRC case. Chia added that bringing up allegations against the high court judge through an alleged letter by the MACCs is clearly another desperate attempt intended to tarnish the reputation of a judge who has already been vindicated from all levels within the judiciary system. She said this inappropriate and last-ditch effort to cast doubts on Najib's conviction in the case is most undesirable and must cease. Najib had been sentenced to 12 years imprisonment and a 210 million ringgit fine for corruption in the SRC international trial. On March 31st, the federal court delivered its 4-1 to majority decision verdict, rejecting his bid for a review. The possibility of a second review was ignited after the case's deputy public prosecutor, V. Sitambaran, said it is possible for Najib to try again, while Najib's counsel, Muhammad Shafi Abdullah, said the dissenting judgment may open an avenue for another appeal. Shafi said the dissenting judgment also strengthens Najib's case for a royal pardon. However, other lawyers interviewed by Malaysia Kini have also indicated that a second review will be difficult, if not impossible.